Olympic Games. I know that a lot of you are probably thinking, where's my summer achievement? It's been replaced by this weird badge thing that I need trading cards for. How the hell do I get trading cards? What have they done? Where the hell is everything? So we're going to sit here and talk a little bit about badges, how they work, and how to get the Steam Summer Getaway Badge. Trading cards were recently implemented along with badges to kind of uh, replace that achievement system. You know, those mega cool awesome achievements that you could get. Not the game ones, but the like Steam in general ones. So they replaced it and they also implemented a leveling system that goes hand in hand with the trading cards and the badges. So at this point in time there are currently five ways to get the trading cards for the Steam Summer Getaway Badge. The first one is the community choice. You gotta vote on the community choice. And if you, you have to be level five as well. So if you're level five and you're making votes, for every three votes that you make, you get a trading card. Unfortunately, if you're below level five, I don't think you get any of the trading cards. But if you manage to get level five before the sale ends, the next time that you vote, you should obtain all the cards that you would have gotten previously if you had been level five. To check and see what your level is, make sure that you go into your Steam app and you're going to click on that user tab up on the top. It's going to be your actual username. From there, there'll be a little drop down with a bunch of options. One of those options that you want to click on is profile. So that's going to open up your profile and all the nifty little things about you. And in the upper right hand corner should be your level. Moving on though to the second way that you can earn trading cards and that is purchasing games during the sale. So for every $10 that you spend, you get one trading card. Your third option for gaining trading cards is going into the market and purchasing them. To get to the market, you're going to want to click on the community tab up top. Again, there will be a bunch of options that drop down, and one of them should be market. So you click in there, it opens up the market. You can easily go ahead and do a find on the card that you're looking for specifically. And currently, as of the 14th today, most of the cards are under 25 cents. So that is another way to go ahead and obtain them all. So trading is your fourth option. Sometimes you're going to get duplicate cards that have no use to you whatsoever. You already have the card. You can use these as bargaining chips with other people, your friends, or just other random people who you want to make trades with to get cards that you haven't gotten yet. And so the trading window was kind of tricky for me to find. It took me like literally 10 minutes, embarrassingly. But uh, if you want to make a trade with somebody, you're going to want to first and foremost send a message to them. So you get that message chat window going, you're messaging them, and all the way in the top right hand corner there's a little arrow. You click on that arrow. A little drop down will appear with a bunch of options and one of them will be invite to trade. So once you do that, it will initiate the trade. The both of you can go into your inventories, select whatever you want to trade, drag it into the window, and go ahead and lock down that trade. Don't just rely on your friends though. You can go ahead and join the Steam Trading Cards group. From there you can get into the chat room over there, the discussion groups, and go ahead and find other people who are looking for cards that you may, ha may have and they may have cards that you are looking for. And last but not least, the fifth option available to you in gaining these trading cards. So there are plenty of games right now where you can gain trading cards for just that game. And if you gain all the trading cards for that game, you can go ahead and craft a badge. And when you craft a badge, it should reward you with a Summer Steam Sale trading card. To check the progress of your Summer Getaway Badge, you can go ahead and go up to the top and look for the User tab, which is going to be your username. And in the options, you're going to click on Badges. And from there, you're going to click on the Steam Summer Sale Badge. And when you click into that, you can see all the cards that you already have, the quantity of each card that you have, because again, you're going to get duplicates. You can also see some of the cards that your friends have. Now, once you've collected all the trading cards for the Steam Summer Getaway Badge, you can combine them all together, create the badge, and bask in the glory of finally finishing that badge. And I was also reading somewhere that you can do this multiple times by gaining the cards multiple times and you're able to kind of up the level of the badge so you get more experience out of it and gain more level. Also there are a total of 10 cards that you need to collect for this badge and those cards are Bioshock Infinite, Chivalry Medieval Warfare, Dead Island Riptide, Football Manager 2013, Purple Space Program, Prison Architect, Reyes, Skyrim, Tomb Raider, and Torchlight 2. So those are the 10 cards that you're going to be looking for. And finally, Vichy Games does have a Steam group, so if you're interested in joining, and you should totally join, there's a link down below in the description to go to the group, but you can also just go into Steam and look for Vichy Games and it should pop right up. Join the group though because I do have a discussion currently going where you can go in there and say, you know, I have these cards, do you have these cards? And maybe, as a group of Vigi gamers, we can help each other get this badge. So hopefully you found this video extremely helpful because I know that the trading card system, the badge system, the leveling system can be very, very confusing. 
If you like this video, you thought it was awesome, you thought it was informative, make sure to you know give it a like. I also do have a Facebook and Twitter that you can like and follow because I'm always constantly talking about how I just can't resist games during the sale right now. And I also leave recommendations of various games that I've played that I think you might enjoy. All that fun stuff. So we're going to go ahead and stop this video, but thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I assume that you're watching this video because you want to partake in the Steam Summer Sale of 2013 and you want some tips and tricks. Don't worry, these tips and tricks apply across the board with any Steam Sale.